in continuation to my previous videos, here is a video that I would uh, use to help you understand what tests do we conduct when your Y is continuous data while your X is discrete and we are concerned about centering of the project Y. Again, the same summary, you know, uh, the preliminary decision on what hypothesis test we use will depend on the data type of my X and Y. So if my Y is continuous data and my X is discrete, the first question that we would want to ask ourselves is whether we are concerned about the centering of the problem or are we concerned about the variability? To handle this simple question, uh, we would rather use a minute app. So let's say uh, total breakage is my project Y. So I will first try and understand the distribution of my project Y. Graphical summary for total breakage, C9. If you see, it, it publishes all kinds of values here. So uh, I'm, I'm using median. So the median breakage is currently at 11.289. Why did I pick up median? Because the p-value here is showing that the data is not normally distributed. So mean will not be the best measure of central tendency. Hence, I'm using median. So if you see here that the median breakage currently is, is, is at 11.289. I pick up a, just to graphically help you understand that, I'm, I'm, taking, a, I'm taking a line and drawing it approximately. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I will not bet my neck that it's exactly at 11 point something. I'm just trying to give it, uh, show this to you graphically. So this is my current central tendency, current median. Assume that the business has a target. And the business says that the percentage defect cannot be, uh, the, the quantity of defect cannot be greater than 9 kgs. I'll again edit this, I will turn this into green. So this is what my business expects me to do. Let me change the color, this is, I, this is difficult. Mm -hmm. Let me do a blue. Okay, so the blue depicting the target, the red depicting my current as is central tendency. If you see, every data item beyond the nine is a defect. But remember, in breakage, lesser will be better. So all the time, all the while that you've done less than nine kgs of breakage is what is past performance. While every time you've gone beyond nine is a failed performance, right? So you see a considerable portion of your, of your process behavior beyond nine. In such cases, when your central tendency is not, not even the central tendency is meeting your target, the first project may be to move your mean or your median or your central tendency towards your target, right? The first project will be to move your central tendency, central behavior towards your target. The second could be working at the overall normal distribution and, and taking it beyond the nine. So I would typically want my normal distribution curve somewhere here. So the max does not exceed nine. That is That would be the best state I could get into, right? So here, when your central tendency does not meet your target, the, is, uh, the first project that you may want to do would be aimed at reduction of median. So my goal statement could have been reduction of median from, from a current of 11.29 to less than 9. So let's say a 9, nine could be my current, uh, of the first project target. I would want to take this here or maybe less than that, right? So this is how you decide. Alternatively, should it have been, uh, should it have been a little different? So let's say my, my central tendency is currently at, uh, currently at 11, 11.289, while the process target is, let's say at 15, 15. In this case, you can see that my central tendency is already meeting my target. My central tendency is already meeting my target. So the project will be 
targeting the variation of the process. I hope this simple explanation helps you. Let's go back. So the first question you will ask is whether, uh, whether you're concerned about central tendency or whether you're concerned about variability. Once you've decided that central tendency is your issue, you will have to check whether your Y is normally distributed or not. You do that using the normality test. Should your Y be normally distributed, you have options of conducting three tests, one sample T, two sample T, and one way ANOVA. If your Y is not normally distributed, you would look at options of one sample sign, man with me and Moods medium. Should variation be your issue? Again, check whether your Y is normal or non-normal. Why? The only option that you uh, that you may explore here is test of equal variance. Test of equal variance will publish two p-values, which we will discuss at length uh, in our in our uh, later videos. Hope this uh, simple video helps you understand how do you decide on centering and variation issues when y, when your y is continuous and x is discrete data. In the next video, I will help you understand uh, the tests of one sample, t, two sample, etc. in greater detail. I hope this video helps.